Hey everybody, how you guys, gals doing? Doing a little something different today. Sitting up in the garage, working on the bike right now. I gotta change some uh, oil and all that good stuff on this one behind me. By the way, man, that's 2008 uh, CBO Road King, man. And I'm actually gonna do a video on that uh, coming up probably next week or something. Give you a little bit of a rundown of why I caved. Because I know I was one of them guys that said, no, I'll never get a CBO. But when the price is right, you just gotta break down and grab it. And you know, a little preview, 110 cubes, man, copper and black, and stage two, and she just roars. The guy put a lot of money into this bike, man, that had it for me, so I'm kind of grateful to you for that, man. Thunderheads, man, the whole nine yards, I can go and go and go. So, this video, we're going to be talking about some of the best advice I ever got that I never took, so I'm going to pass it on to you. Now, title of this video Stop the party and why you're ahead. That was the best advice that I said, yeah, I ain't listening to you when I was younger. I was partying hardcore in my 20s. I'm talking hardcore, talking about going on weekend vendors, uh, leaving the house for a week at a time, just riding and partying. Yes, I was in a club at the time. And, you know, you get some goodies that go along that can keep you up and going for a weekend. Uh, you know, we never did meth, man. You know, yeah, we do a couple lines of Cokes here, uh, here and there to keep us going and stuff like that. But it was a nonstop partying. And one of the older guys came up to me and said, you know what, kid? You better slow down because by the time you get my age, you're going to be all kinds of hurt. One thing that's very interesting, if you notice with the old club guys, is how fast they aged. How fast, especially with the Vietnam guys. And it's because of the party they would just go and go and go. I bet those old timers can still out party all of us. But he came up to me and, you know, I was going 48 hours straight. Just sitting there, freaking going off, drinking, partying, and finally I stopped at 97 with the drinking, but that's because Jack Daniels kicked my ass for three. So I figured, you know what, dude, you're not much of a friend here, okay? You're kicking my ass, you know, puking everywhere the whole nine yards. So I quit the drinking, but, you know, weed's my game, man. You know, still to this day, weed's my game. Uh, but uh, we were doing lines of coke, all that kind of stuff uh, for a long time. I had all the women. And you know what? I wish I would have listened to this guy because now at almost age 50 I'm really starting to feel the effects of all those years ago. See you got to take care of yourself, your body, all that good stuff or you're going to pay your price when you get older. Now that's my advice to you younger ones. Hey, it's awesome to party. It's awesome to go out there, blow off steam, do your thing. But do it in moderation, man. Yeah, it's good once a month to just go out there and freaking let loose. I'm talking let loose. You want to go out on a 48-hour, go out on a 48-hour. But do it in moderation. Now, when you get older, your, your knees are killing you, your back's killing you. You're aging real quick, and that's because you didn't take care of yourself. Now, I don't know how you youngins party nowadays, but that's how we used to party back then. And now I think 
there still is a lot of people that like doing that. Hey, that's what makes this thing awesome. It does. You know, spending time with your brothers, riding your motorcycle, getting you some side piece and stuff if you're into that. That's what makes this this. But you got to be careful because, you know, you start to feel it as you get into your 30s. Late 30s especially, that's when you're going to start feeling it. But hey, you want to keep on going. And then when you get into your 40s, then you're starting to feel, hey man, oh, I can't do this like I used to. You know, what is there, that old saying where at 20 we'll do whatever, 30 it's like, ah, oh, we're getting a family and stuff like that. Yeah, we might go out once in a while. 40s it's like, screw you, I'm staying home. Just so what you uh, young kids uh, know what you're up for. Especially when you get families, man. And the partying does affect the family. That's one thing that I never took into consideration. And you know what? That's why China now's a real ride or die. Because she stuck with me when a lot of women wouldn't have, man. They would have told me, kick rocks. And I'm sure a lot of you went through that as well. Uh, I remember an old guy who said, you know what, I chose the club over having a family and stuff, or an old lady, and unfortunately died alone, man, and that is just some stuff that you might have to, to face is if you choose the party and club, whatever you want to talk about it, and I'm not just talking about clubs here. Independents know how to party as well, actually, they party a lot harder, if you know what I mean. So... The lifestyle can suck you in, the party aspect of it. It really can. It can suck you right in and chew you up and spit you out as you get older. So that right there is my advice to you youngins. Also, stay away from the coke. Stay away from the meth. It's no good for you. None whatsoever. You want to talk about that kind of stuff, go something easy. I know it keeps you up all weekend to keep the partying going, but what it's going to do is hurt you in the long run. So that's my advice for you. That's my advice for you youngins, because I know you older guys are already feeling it. Anyway, the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about the bikes and all that good stuff. I'm going to try to do some different content on the channel. Welcome to all the new members, or not the well, new members as well, but all the new subscribers and stuff like that. Hey, if you got a suggestion on a type of content any of you uh, want to watch or me cover, let me know, man. I'm going to get more interactive here. So we'll talk to you later. Rock on, baby.